part of my pumpkin patch. Doug Bergeson checks over his fields of vegetables, happy to be healthy and back to work on his farm. Seven weeks ago, that didn't sound so likely as he was about to undergo open heart surgery to remove this. Made my whole family very nervous and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but I mean, accidents happen. With his wife at church, Doug was trying to finish framing up the fireplace on the home he's building near Peshtigo. And I was kneeling, just bringing the nail gun forward and I was on my tiptoes and I just didn't have quite enough room and it fired before I was really ready for it. And then it dropped down and fired again. And this three and a half inch framing nail fired straight into his heart with a speed of a 22 bullet. It, it didn't really hurt. It just felt like it kind of stung me and I looked down and I didn't see anything and I put my hand there and like, that's not good. <laughs> when I saw it moving with my heart, it's like, I'm not going to get anything done today. I can see that already. Not wanting to bother anyone by calling 911, he washed up and hopped in his truck. So I drove into the emergency room and... Uh, you drove yourself to the hospital. This seemed like the thing to do. <laughs> uh, I can say I, I felt fine uh, other than, you know, having a little bit too much iron in my diet. By the time he made it that 12 miles to Bay Area Medical Center in Marinette, the calm and collected Doug was starting to hurt. I just leaned over the security guard and said, I've got a nail in my chest. I'd be great if you can find somebody to help me out here. I'm just going to sit down. While doctors started working, he texted his wife at the ER, but the message auto-corrected and she had no idea what it meant. When they finally talked, he calmly said he was okay, but needed a new shirt. She hurried to the hospital to see this. Um, I got the, what did you do? <laughs> just shrugged my shoulders and oops. <laughs> Doctors decided he needed immediate surgery and rushed him to Aurora Baycare Medical Center and Dr. Alexander Reutstein. A wrong heartbeat, a wrong position, and he would have had a much more complicated problem than, uh, than he was bargaining for. And so he's quite fortunate from that standpoint. Doug says the nail missed a main artery in his heart by this much, the thickness of a piece of paper. He was very astute not to remove it uh, because uh, he remembers Steve Irvin and uh, that's what played through his head. He has a scar, but no permanent damage. It was just something that seals up on its own. Must have had somebody, somebody watching over me because it was, it was close. Well, Doug says he was always careful before, he is even more so now and hopes others respect the power of nail guns. The accidents, they can happen so quickly and fortunately this, this one had a good ending. Sarah Thompson, Action 2 News, Peshtigo.